Hey, what's up, our audience? My name is Knight. And I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Perk Builds for Beginners. If you guys are new here and you don't know what Perk Builds for Beginners are, it's a series I'm making that involves making different perk builds that could be useful to uh, beginner survivors. And it involves free perks that come with the free survivors, which are these guys, which are obviously what you're going to start off with in the game. So to kick things off, we're going to do a perk build today that I call the No Privacy Build. And it involves giving the killer as little privacy as possible. So, we got these four perks, Spine Chill, Dark Sense, Kindred, and Premonition. So, so to start off with Spine Chill, this one's pretty self-explanatory. If the killer looks at you, it kind of just lets you know by lighting up in your perk wheel. And then we got Dark Sense. So every time a generator is done, you get to see the killer's whereabouts for 5 seconds. And when the last generator is done, it's amped up to 10 seconds. So they're not going to pull any surprises on you. And then we got Kindred. If you're hooked, it shows the killer's whereabouts within your vicinity to other players. And if someone else is hooked, it shows the killer's whereabouts to you only. And then we have Premonition. This is actually pretty new. We haven't used this one yet. So what Premonitious does is if the killer is within a certain vicinity, which is a 36 meter circle around you, if you look at the killer and he's within that vicinity, it gives you an auditory notification so that you know that the killer's right there. So that's pretty much it. You don't really need any items or anything. Um, I ran out of blood point offerings and I don't see anything here. I've already taken this one and I'm not willing to freaking waste any more blood points. I wasted so many blood points out of this guy right here. You're a leech, you know that? All right, so that's gonna be it for the explanation. Um, I'm actually kind of tired today. So I'm gonna do the gameplay tomorrow, but for you, it's just gonna be instantaneous. So I'm gonna take it easy today. And hopefully Stolid Bassoon is gonna be on tomorrow. So you're gonna get some Stolid Bassoon gameplay from my perspective. So yeah, you know what happens next? Let's do this. Alrighty, so unfortunately unfortunately stolid was not able to make it so yeah um i'll, I'll probably i'll try and get him to join my, my one of my videos next time but um i hope that's not the reason why you click off the video oh and also i actually got a new uh cosmetic with some shards so just to get Whoa. That is Mercury Murrier's. He's coming this way. Mercury Murrier's is not happy with you. Then nor am I. Well, he's coming this way. He's gonna cut me off, so... Let's see where he comes from. Is he not here? What's going on? I think he's chasing someone, so... Oh, yeah, chasing them. Hey, Steve! Oh, shoot! I may have overreacted, but <laughs> hey, bud, you wanna you wanna heal? I'll give you a heal. That thing, that thing is false advertising, or at least I don't know how to read it to the point where it seems like false advertising. All right, so we're not just being useless, because from what I can tell, why are you killing yourself? All right, we're out because he's coming this way. Yep, he likes to, he likes to, uh, what do you call it? He likes to, he likes to, he likes to patrol the area. Because, yeah, I got hit in the area, she got hit in the area, and he killed himself. You know you could have kept the killer busy, right? Yep, you kicked it. Where can oh the stupid thing is not here anymore. He's not coming this way anymore. Or at least that's what this guy's telling me. Oh hey, look at that. Gimme. 
Dude, this is... This freaking light got darker, too. What in the hell? You... You... You bringing me here? Are you working in it while being chased? She absolutely is. Not even gonna bother. Where'd you go? Alright, well, I'm gonna go look for Hatch. If she's smart, she's gonna give me Hatch. Or, I can go for one of the doors. Alright, if I'm lucky, he won't come here first. He'll look for Hatch. So now we wait. Yep, he's looking for Hatch. I'm gonna stick a little closer to, to the stupid bin so he doesn't see me. Come on. No, that's not gonna do me any good. Come on, get off me. Alright, thank you. Hopefully he didn't take note where I was. Come on. Oh, he coming. Oh, he coming. Oh, he coming. There he is. All right, see you later, bad boy. Oh. God dang. I don't know if you know this, but my, my heart was about to, like, implode on itself. I'm going to fly for you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna include. I'm, I think I'm gonna include that in the video, but I don't know if you guys saw that. But a, a freaking cockroach flew into my clothes, and he started crawling up and down my stupid shirt. Like there's no pipe. I, I usually have like a stack of papers on my left, but I didn't have any this time. Usually like to blow my nose or something. He's up. He's up in front over there. <laughs> I had to get up and freaking shake him off, and he flew over there in the back. And I had to catch him. God dang. I'm gonna be honest, that was the first time I've seen a flying cockroach. I've never seen one fly until just now. So yeah, I'd say that was quite the experience. Well then. Wait. Gimme gimme. Not sure what that does, but sure. Where are you going, buddy? That's good news. No one's saving. You know what? No one's doing a gen. Where is he, by the way? I don't see him. Where are you? Oh, I thought I missed that one. He's over there somewhere. In that general direction. I think he's chasing someone. And they're doing a great job. What are you doing? Re appearing and or disappearing and reappearing. Alright, where are you? There he is. Alright, they're doing their little dance over there. There's no pallet here, so. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, so where are you going? Oh, so he actually completely disappears from everything. Okay. Noted. Wait, so does his power itself, like... Apparently, Wraith's power itself uh, counters Kindred. 
Not sure what David's doing. He's no miter, but he hasn't been hooked yet, so... I should stop. She's hurt. Um, I'm almost done, though. That's not good. Yep, look at them. Can you guys waste a little bit more time? Okay, which which one were you working on? I'm coming to you. Just hold on for a little. Dude, okay, fine. No, I'll I'll go get them. You go do your thing, because I have not been hooked. He's gonna be in here. Watch. Yep. Yep, I can't. I'm sorry. If he's gonna camp like that, I can't really do much. Especially with the door all the way here, there's no way you, I, can, I can make it. The cons outweigh the pros, here, the pros here, so. I'm sorry, man. I gotta go. If he's gonna camp there like that, I can't really do much. There's not much I can work with. Oh, he had barbecue, so he did have the ability to go for us. But he decided not to. Interesting. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video of perk builds for beginners. Interesting game at the end there. I didn't really encounter him much, except for that last part there. But I was able to showcase the perks and how you can use them to your advantage, except for Wraith. I'm not sure what was going on with Wraith. I forgot to check his perks as well and his add-ons. So maybe it's something it had something to do with his add-ons. Usually, from my experience, I think I remember being able to see him with Kindred, even when he was cloaked. But who knows? My brain cells are probably just having aneurysms right now. But anyways, so that's gonna be it for this video of perk builds for beginners. If you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos that come out every weekend. And well. That's going to be it for this video and I'm a dip.